Mac Johnson. Born in Louisiana. Came up playing the bugle outside of school and had to wash dishes to buy his first trumpet. I, I was washing dishes in, in this cafe and I said, I'm going to be a trumpet. And so I got my first trumpet and I started playing with it. After which, he moved to Phoenix and got his first professional touring opportunity with Ray Charles and Lowell Folsom. Ray Charles and Lowell Folsom came through town and they, they, need, they, they needed a trumpet player then. I said, okay, I, I'll try it. And I, I, I played with them. And they said, you want to go on the road with us? I said, yeah. I said, Mama, can I go? She said, go, get out of here. <laughs> so I, that was my first gig. One night, it was all across the country with when Ray Charles and Lil Fulton were together. A gig he continued up until the point he was drafted. After serving his time in the military, Mac returned to a regular touring schedule, playing with many of the major acts of the time, and also penning the hit record, You Can't Sit Down. Mac recorded on the original Lloyd Price hit, Personality. Mac then found himself in Washington, D.C., where he had his first experience playing with the Ike and Tina Turner Review, an experience that he would come back to later in his career. During the same period of time, Mac became aware of an opportunity to play with the great James Brown. I started staying around D.C. a lot. And James Brown had a trumpet player and missing. I said, what? Let me run over there and I ran over to the uh, Howard Theater in D.C. And that, that's why I, and I played and James said, you got it. While touring with James, Matt came across a talented young musician whom he then recommended to James Brown. That musician turned out to be the incomparable Fred Wesley. I was with, you know, with James Brown, we were down south. When we, when we got in Alabama, that's why I, I uh, went out one night and, and jammed, and I met this trombone player. Who's this trombone player? Oh, that's Fred Wesley. Oh, really? I said, hey, uh, I went back and told, told James about it. He said, well, go get it, go get it. Uh, and that's when I went, I went and dropped him and turned him on to, uh, to James Brown. Matt continued his association with James Brown, recording on some of his biggest hits. Hits like, I Feel Good, and Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. Mac then reconnected with Ike and Tina. Mac recorded on Ike and Tina's biggest hits, hits like Nutbush City Limits, and The Immortal Proud Mary. Mac was part of the family vibes. In 1969, Mac connected with Ernest Lane to form Sam and the Good Timers. Mac stayed in LA and worked as a session man with the likes of Stevie Wonder, B.B. King, Waylon Jennings, and many, many more. Right, I'm doing recording with whoever called. Matter of fact, I did quite a bit of them. That's when I met Waylon Jennings and all of them. It was marvelous. McKinley Mac Johnson, soul music pioneer, American trumpet legend. <laughs>